can't trust me. I just can't trust him. You better watch him. Ooh, the tension's so damn hot up in this room. My body heat up when I'm close to you. So boy, what you really trying to do? You know I love you, I'm forever close to you. Yeah, you fucked that bitch, now you got me confused. Damn! Damn! I'm not trying to be walking around this bitch all fucked up, confused. I told you motherfuckers, I learned my lesson in my motherfucking 20s. I should not be fucking thinking about my goddamn no fucking relationship in my motherfucking 30s. But damn, you motherfuckers want to have a bitch fucking confused. Damn, why the fuck you want to go on me, bitch? You got me tripping. I think I'm slapping. Strong got on that dick. Ooh. See, that's my fucking problem. I'm too fucking clingy. Every time a bitch end up talking to a motherfucker, she end up so fucking clingy and then driving a motherfucker away. And now I'm on his ass talking about something. I know you got that bitch. Now we arguing about the shit again. Back and forth again. Do you love me? Don't pretend. I walk away with don't. Uh, I walk away with no regret. But motherfucker, I'm still gonna come back. I'm still gonna come back again. I'm not leaving for real. Just chase me when I leave. Chase me. I'm not leaving for real. It's gonna piss me off if you don't fucking chase me. That's what's gonna piss me off. Cause now I feel like you love that bitch a little more than me. Chase me when I walk out the goddamn throat. Throw a fucking fit. Act like you ain't got no sense. Act like your ass finna die if I leave, motherfucker. Damn, let me know you love me. Then I be up on this bitch. Time I something. Choose me, choose me, choose me. Yeah, begging for the dick. Ooh, that's what I'm trying to tell you, motherfuckers. It's power in a D. Your bitches study talking about something. It's power in a P. Your bitches look gall good and all. But goddammit, you know you want that real deal. The holy feel. That's why I don't understand why some of you bitches love the fucking, the fucking toy more than you love fucking that real deal. Bitch, fuck that. Go get the real deal. It make you feel good in the morning time, bitch. Go get that real good shit. Bitch, I'm tired about bitch. When you wake up smiling from ear to ear, motherfuckers, goddamn, what happened? Oh shit, goddamn. I don't fuck with goofy niggas. I don't want your type just pay. I don't fuck with goofy bitches. You know I'm not fucking with no goofy shit. I learned my motherfucking lesson, y'all. I done moved on with my life. I want some new shit, new dick, new plans. I know I want my new man. I ain't got time for shit old. So god damn it, I don't got I ain't got nothing attached to me. I been left you motherfuckers a long time ago. All you lame motherfucking niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The motherfuckers that still out here playing in the field, goddamn it, still trying to get a rep, a name for your goddamn self. You're too fucking old to be out there just fucking for no fucking reason. If you're going to fuck five hoes, it's supposed to be for a reason. That bitch got something you need. That bitch got something you need. That bitch got something you need. But motherfucker, your niggas just passing out the dick for no fucking reason. It don't even be interesting no more because everybody didn't have the dick. It's interesting when, God damn it, ain't nobody had the shit. You know what I'm saying? You make a bitch feel curious. You know how y'all niggas be wanting to feel curious about a bitch? Y'all don't want our pussy every fucking well. Well, God damn, it feel good, god damn it, when you won't know a nigga, god damn it, and he just look good, bitch. Motherfucker, he ain't got time for none of that shit, bitch. I want new shit. Your motherfuckers could stay the same all you fucking want to. You ain't gonna get nowhere in life. If the shit was still like that a year ago, it's gonna be like that next year. What the fuck is you waiting on? What the fuck is you waiting on? If a motherfucker ain't gonna change for God, that's the that's the motherfucker that need. Goddamn. 
You need if ain't nobody gonna change for God. I, I I'm watching you with my side eye. Maybe this eye, bitch, cause sometimes this eye get a little lazy. I'm watching your motherfucking ass with my lazy eye, bitch, cause that means you don't know I'm looking at your motherfucking ass. So I'ma watch your ass with that motherfucking eye, so it could be wandering, wandering all on your motherfucking ass. What the fuck is going on with you? You don't wanna change your life for God? Okay, bitch, don't drag me to fucking hell with you. That's what I'm saying. Your bitches want somebody to go with your ass, and you ain't going no. Well, bitch, I don't want to be going with your ass. You're not going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. So why the fuck you want me to go? That's what I'm saying. Your hoes let other hoes drag you to fucking hell. God damn it. Your bitch is not going to manipulate me. You can't drag me to fucking hell with you. You can't get on the phone, ask me. It got to be some business. We got to be talking about some goddamn business. It better be good too, bitch, because you're calling me. You're calling me. You're disturbing my peace. What you want, bitch? What the fuck do you want? What? And it better be good. Bitch, my time is precious, bitch. I got a whole lot of shit I got to uncover. You feel what I'm saying? I'm dealing with my own fucking demons every motherfucking day. The shit don't fucking stop. Y'all, that's what I'm saying. Every day you got to be working on your motherfucking self. You motherfuckers feel like, oh, I know a little something so I can stop right here. No, motherfucker, if you going to stop right there, then goddamn it, you going to die right there, motherfucker. You got me fucked up. I'm expanding with the goddamn universe, goddamn it. Motherfucker, the universe is gone, and it's going to keep on moving on. I'm going to keep on moving on with the universe. I ain't going to be stuck with you motherfuckers, so you can't drag me to hell with you, bitch. I'm not going. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm, I, God been giving me what the fuck I want. That's what I'm saying. I ain't going to hell with you bitches. God been giving me what the fuck I want. I told God I want new everything. God damn it. New pussy. New dick. New everything. Make me whole. Woo. See, that's what I'm saying. You got to be real with God. You got to be real. Make me whole. So when my husband come, I could be perfect for him. It's just going to be flowing right in like fucking water, bitch. And your hoes going to be fucking mad and miserable because you talked about me all that motherfucking time. Bitch, you said I was bitter all that goddamn time. You going to reap what you sow, bitch. Because when I get to being happy, your cheating ass husband going to be right there, still sitting right there doing the same ass shit he was doing last year, bitch. He just got a little better. He got a look. Good at the shit Cause bitch he, You didn't caught on to that behavior So he gotta switch it up on your dumb ass And guess what You gonna be crying And you gonna leave in about two years And bitch I'm gonna be happy I'm still gonna be with my man And I'm gonna be happy And I can't wait And you know how they sit up there and say Ooh Don't rub it in these hoes face No If them hoes called you bitter At they fucking mouth And they tried to go on your motherfucking ass Bitch, when you get your man, bitch, rub it in they face. And you let them hoes know. Bitch, how you like me now, ho? And it's a, my man better than your man, bitch. And my man ain't cheating on me like your man is. And my man ain't out there fucking with them hoes like your man is. Like, you feel me? And if, even if he was, I'm not leaving him, bitch. Even if he was, bitch. Okay, babe. That's good. Good. Long, long. She got some good pussy, babe. She good. She got a good head on the shoulder. So, bitch, it's gonna take a lot for me to leave my man, bitch. So, I ain't fucking stubborn or I ain't desperate like you hoes. I ain't, I, I, I'm good by myself, bitch. But who, when he come, ho, your hoes ain't gonna say shit about me no more, bitch. Your bitches got my camera fucking up. Bitch. Bitches got my motherfucking camera fucking up. I'm bitch. You ain't gonna say shit else. Bitch, be having me motherfucking spin. Cause I be have to tell these motherfucking hoes. Cause that's the first thing they sit up there and say, y'all. And it pisses me the fuck off. Cause I be like, y'all bitches is the ones that's stressing. I ain't stressed about shit. I woke up good this morning. I woke up, I put my favorite socks on, bitch. Took my spiritual bath. I woke up good. And you bitches always got some negative shit to say. How the fuck you got negative shit to say and you got a man at home? If I got a man at home, I won't even think about you bitches. I would be so in tune. I would have I would have been lost myself, bitch. I didn't forget. Uh, I didn't forget I got a YouTube page, bitch. I forgot I do music. Like that's how the dick I had you lost. Bitch, I forgot about my life. 
bitch. Girl. So you think I'm gonna be thinking about your ass? Waking up, talking about you? No, bitch. I'm waking up sucking dick in the morning, bitch. Because he might try to get his dick sucked by Becky. And I ain't trying to get his ass going to the other side. That's what I'm saying. Your hoes better start sucking some dick. And, bitch, you gonna start going to the other side. Oh, your hoes never experienced that before. Well, I have motherfucker shit. When you experience a nigga trying to leave you for another other species, God damn it, you gonna, look, you gonna be like, God damn. You gonna appreciate your black man, goddamn. You gonna appreciate your black man that got his fucking sense and that won't even think that fucking far to do some dumb ass shit like that, you fucking traitor. You motherfuckers is slow and you're going to jail for the fucking homies. So you're going to hell for the fucking homies. You don't give a fuck because that's your homie. So is you, y'all motherfuckers so tough to sit up there and talk in front of the police. Yeah, that's my nigga. I ain't snitching. That's my motherfucking nigga. Okay, let your ass go up there in front of God with that bullshit. And I'm going to be the security guard. I'm at the motherfucking door. And I'm going to say, yep, God, he said it. What you want me to do with him? Do you want me to cast his ass down there with the fucking fire and the fucking devil with the fucking demons where the fuck he belongs so he can be on fucking demon time so I can harass his motherfucking ass if he speak my motherfucking name? I'm going to be like Solomon on you motherfucking bitches. Y'all know how Solomon was every time a motherfucker came up to him. See, the demons had to come talk to Solomon. They had to reveal who the fuck they was because he had that fucking ring Yahweh gave him. And if the Yahweh and, and, and Yahweh told Solomon, if you throw the goddamn ring at the goddamn demons, motherfucker, them motherfuckers, you got the power of God. The, the, the ring represents the power of motherfucking God. So Solomon had the motherfucking hood on lock. When I say the hood on lock, Solomon had dominion over the fucking earth. Dominion mean power. He was a powerful king. That motherfucker had power. But you know what? You know what happened along the way? You get tricked by the fucking devil. Remember I told you, the devil can't fucking kill you. You got to get him the authority to kill your motherfucking ass. You bitches step out your motherfucking character. Bitch, your ass going to die. Or, goddamn it, y'all thinking just because you go to church on motherfucking Sunday, bitch, you acting like God won't kill your motherfucking ass. Your ass going to reap what you sow too, bitch. So if you motherfuckers is out here reaping a whole lot of dumb ass shit, a lot of toxic ass shit, and you sowing a lot of toxic ass shit, motherfucker, you going to reap that shit. Fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all out here fucking being on demon time and then your motherfuckers want to cry when some demon shit happened to your ass. No, bitch. You motherfuckers going to reap what you sow. Motherfucker, like Solomon did. His motherfucking ass sit up there. He had the hood on lock. You had power. God gave you all the fucking wives to fuck. You had power. You had power, but you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you, y'all. That's what I'm telling you. Women, we some bad motherfucking bitches. No matter if you a demon or no matter if you an angel, we bad motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you, just like God is not, I'm telling you. Even though you motherfuckers on YouTube, see, I gotta get used to y'all on fucking YouTube. Your motherfuckers try to say, oh, it's pronounced God is Nix. You know, like God is Nix, like Twix. But I didn't want to say it like that. I, it said in the, with the fucking end and the X at the end and it reminded me of the knock your motherfucking ass out. So sometimes when you reading these motherfucking articles and shit and you read un, trying to come up to your own understanding, sometimes you give people your nicknames. She gave me Goddess Knox so I could be like knock your ass out. But it's pronounced Goddess Nix, y'all, like a Twix. N-Y-X. But it's still the same shit. And guess what? Do you think they even care? English not even fucking real. So as long as you trying to come up to your own fucking understanding, you come up to your own understanding. Don't let nobody try to go on you and try to make it seem like you dumb and shit or you slow and shit. Motherfucker, you probably, nobody even talk about the shit. You wouldn't even probably even know. You probably said, damn. So shut the fuck up. Stop acting like motherfuckers walking around talking about shit like that. Motherfuckers don't even talk about shit like that. You never heard of Goddess Knox, bitch. Girl. So then, bitch, then you want to go do your research and you want to tell me how to fuck it pronounce. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Bitch, I'm the one told you about it. Girl. That's what I'm saying. Solomon had the motherfucking world on fucking lock. And I'm telling you, that's why women is powerful. You feel me? Like, 
the seven sisters. The seven sisters, them the motherfucking dark forces, you feel me, from the dark world, you feel me, the cosmic ruler, makeup, you know what I'm saying, the 33 elements, but that's a whole nother motherfucking story, y'all. We gonna stick to this story because y'all know I talk a whole lot of shit and be a whole lot of shit. I gotta get off my chest. So that's another story we gonna talk about next time. But motherfucker, when I say these seven sisters, they, okay, seven sisters is jealousy, error, deception, who else? Strife. Strife. Strife represents like the weapons and shit. You got battle. And um, the seven one motherfucker, she ain't gonna, she the worst one out of all of them. So motherfucker, you don't know what she'll do to your motherfucking ass. And they represent the dark forces, motherfucker. So you know what? They all went up to Solomon's face. Because remember I told you, Solomon had the whole hood on lock. He had the demons working for his ass. That's what I'm saying. Your motherfuckers is so smart. You're dumb. Why the fuck your pastors don't tell you? Y'all can have the demons working with y'all. Y'all so motherfucking thirsty to ignore that motherfucker. Everybody got a shadow sack. That's what you not motherfuckers not understanding. Satan get your ass behind me. That black dot back there, Satan get your ass behind me. You got your pioneer gland in the front, motherfucker. Your light of God, and you got your motherfucking devil sack behind me. Satan get your ass behind me because they ain't ready for your ass to come out yet. Because if your ass come out, I'm going to have to knock this bitch out. I might kill her. And God damn it, I, that's going to cause me to go into mother. So you got to be able to balance yourself. Bitch, because you're fighting the devil every fucking day. Every day you in this fucking physical body. So you ain't got no choice but to fucking fight the devil, bitch. So you can act like you're better than somebody and you're not. You're walking around putting people on your fucking prayer line. Fuck your prayer line, bitch. You motherfucker, you a devil any fucking way, bitch. I don't give no fuck how goody two shoes you act. Or how good you go to church every Sunday, bitch. Or you got your good ass job. Or you motherfucker praying every week. Bitch, you a devil as long as you ain't on this motherfucking earth, motherfucker. Because everybody. Body a devil in this physical body. So it's your job to represent that light side of God and put your goddamn Satan side behind you. Satan, get your bitch ass behind me because I ain't ready for your ass to come out yet. When I'm ready for you to come out, that's when I slay these motherfuckers. But see, the demon's been good, y'all. The demon's been good. I ain't had to slay a motherfucking demon. I ain't had to say shit. These motherfuckers been on their best behavior. So I ask God, because you know how, like, I been, remember I told you, God been waking me up. It be like 3 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he'll wake me up and make me go laugh and cuss these motherfuckers out. Because, God damn it, it be a bunch of demons that sad. And they trying to take your motherfuckers to hell. So I got to be warning your motherfuckers about all this magic and shit. But you know what? The last couple days, God ain't wake me up. The demons been quiet. I ain't had to cuss nobody out And I woke up early too that day I was pissed Cause first of all First of all let me tell you something When I want to sleep in God don't let me sleep in But damn when the moment I wake up on accident And I say let me get up early To cuss these devils out God you ain't got nothing to say He wake me up every other fucking day But god damn it All of a sudden you ain't got nothing to say and these motherfuckers been on it. These motherfuckers is crazy. You ain't got nothing to say today. I'm pissed. Because I arrived to in God face early. I say, God, who you want me to get? I got my good socks on. Who you want me to get? Because I'm ready to knock these niggas out. See, when I got my good socks on, that means, like, you know how Space Jam, when motherfucking Michael Jordan, them motherfuckers, they had the good shoes and shit. When you put the shoes on, you turn into a motherfucking, you, you, you got good skills when you turn into another fucker, another motherfucker. Well, when I put my favorite socks on, I turn into another motherfucker. So I be having my favorite socks on, y'all, and I be telling God, who you want me to get? Because I'm ready to slay these demons, bitch. Cause these bitches is weak as fuck And that's all they could do is gossip With a bunch of 10 motherfuckers But damn your motherfuckers is slow And you're retarded Cause damn it takes 10 of y'all to do that shit I don't even like 10 people right now I can't even name 10 people in my head I call right now that I like You bitches like to be around 10 motherfuckers Every day all day And you think you're doing something Oh, that's a lot of toxic ass shit going on, y'all. Don't trust a big ass group like that. It's a whole lot of perspectives going on. Somebody arguing or somebody talking about somebody. Somebody talking shit. So you watch them motherfuckers that want to be in groups of 10. And goddamn it, they want to talk about your monkey ass because you like to be by your damn self. Well, bitch, I talk to myself. I got like damn near, you know how Tyler Perry said in that damn play, I got 27 people that live in my head. I got damn near about 30. God damn it. And I can't control five of them. I can't control forever. I can't. 
That's why I be playing to God every fucking day. That's why I be going up there, asking him, can I please go with you? Because these motherfuckers going to drag me to hell with them because I'm going to kill them. God be trying to make, warn me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, let me go with you. Let me go with you. They're going to make me. They're going to make me do it. You all right. I give you strength. Ah! Uh-uh. See? You ain't going to trick me. That's what I'm saying. Like how Solomon did. This motherfucker had the fucking whole earth on fucking lock. The demons had to work for him and build a fucking holy temple of God. But you know what happened along the way? They come and deceive your motherfuckers and you step outside your motherfucking character. Because you get a little greedy. That's what I'm saying. You humans, you humans, you traitors. You get a little greedy along the way. Now, why the hell the fuck could you get greedy and God gave you dominion over every fucking thing? You got the demons working for your ass. He putting their ass to work. Every time they got to come up to him, they say, Solomon. And now Solomon be like, now what? What guardian angel frustrates you? And then the demons got to fucking reveal it because Solomon had that ring and that ring represent God. You feel me? So like he had, they had to, the demons got to reveal themselves. You know how when you up in the motherfucking church and the pastor call himself casting out the demons on somebody's fucking head and the demons reveal they fucking self. Just like, God damn it, when you watch a scary movie and you say, who is there? Who is there? Them demons reveal they fucking self. Well, guess what? When you got the light of God inside your motherfucking ass, goddamn it, and you working with God, them motherfuckers got to reveal they self, and they got to work for you. You can put them bitches to work. Get your ass over there and go take out that goddamn garbage. You're going to take it. You want to be on some fucking devil time? You're out here doing a whole lot of devil shit. You're fucking up my fucking people. My plants over there ain't man to nobody. Business motherfucker. You carry your ass out there and pick up all the fucking garbage on the earth. Motherfucker. Pick up the fucking garbage that's out here on the fucking earth, bitch. Since you want to be on demon time, I'm going to show you motherfuckers. You, you know how your, your motherfuckers, the, the, the police give out community service? Well, that's what we supposed to do to demons. Get your ass out there and go build them fucking bricks. And you bet not motherfucker put a hole in my stuff. I bet not see shit. You teach them motherfuckers. Bitch, see, and that's what I'm saying. I've been slaying demons like Solomon. I've been slaying demons like a motherfucker, y'all. So they've been on their best behavior for the last two days. Now today, I'm picking on their ass. I'm picking on their ass. Because you know what's going on? They still coming up with these demons ass tactics. They still coming up trying to get y'all ass to be living in fucking fear. You motherfuckers is walking around fucking scary as shit. I ain't never seen a bunch of scary motherfuckers in my life. Your motherfuckers walking around because you're watching too much news. Stop watching that shit. Remember Trump sat up there and said, God damn it, this fucking fake news. Well, God damn it, believe him. Because your motherfuckers went out there and voted for Biden and all he did was gave your motherfuckers crack pipes. So that means he say, go get high, bitch. Leave, him, leave the rest up to him. You ain't got to own shit. You ain't got to be on shit. Just go get high, bitch. He gave y'all crack pipes. Why the fuck you ain't give me a fucking marijuana blunt, bitch? Oh, because it's good for you. Marijuana. No, he want to give you a crack pipe. See what I'm saying? Your bitches want to sit up there and talk about drugs. No, bitch. That's drugs. Go talk to your motherfucking president and see why the fuck he will want to give a motherfucking group of people some crack pipes. Oh, he don't want y'all to keep waking up to y'all consciousness because you motherfuckers is smart and you're big like dinosaurs. And goddamn it, you might roar like a fucking lion. Damn, you might take over the fuck and land, god damn it, like Solomon did, and then we'll have to work for you. Oh, them motherfuckers will have to work for you, but your motherfucking black motherfuckers don't know your power, because you're black, you're black, black means ignorant, see, you don't know your power, but see, I'm talking to the indigo child, motherfucker, them indigo kids out there, the Native Americans, guess what, yeah, you can make these motherfuckers work for you. You just need to know who you are. Know thyself. Know your power, motherfucker. Know that you ain't got to go through they Jesus to get to the sun. Know that you could got direct force. You could carry your ass up there right now, bitch. They just mad because they can't get. How the fuck could you go through Jesus and Jesus bu will burn his bitch ass up? His ass will burn up. 
He'll burn his ass up so when he get up there. His skin can't even take the sun. So how the fuck can he get up there? How you got to go through him? Why the fuck do I need to go through you? No, they teaching you to go through somebody. That means you giving your power away. How about take your energy back and give these motherfuckers none of your power and see, goddammit, how they fucking go back to their kind and their nature, their true self, and you go back to your true self, which is hustlers. We been a hustler. We been doing our shit. But you know what happened along the way? You get tricked by the fucking devil. And they put these motherfucking demons down here. Just like I said, the seven sisters, they came up there to motherfucking Solomon. They was on his ass. What? They been wanting to kill his ass. They, they, that's what I'm saying. The demons are always ready to kill you. Understand that. So it don't matter if they don't buy you today. It don't matter if they don't buy you tomorrow. God say they're going to always be ready to kill you. So you need to be on fucking guard at all fucking times. Even on your off day. Motherfucker. They was on Solomon's ass, but they couldn't kill him. Cause they got, damn it, Solomon never stepped out of his character. He always was working with the power of God. But see what happened along the way? His ass been fucking all the wives. God gave him all the wives on a goddamn planet. Goddamn. You got more wives than every nigga on the damn planet. But you're horny. See what I'm saying? How the devil can They put you up under these pussy spells. Mm-hmm. Watch out for a bitch like that. Bitch, you need to get your pussy. Bitch, you, I, bitch I need to love your energy first. I need to have a connection with you before I even lay down with you, bitch. Because your niggas is out here taking energy and your niggas is, ain't that fucking smart. Uh-uh. I need to have a fucking connection. It's too much shit going on. And y'all motherfuckers is taking my energy, motherfucker. And guess what? And, and all that knowledge, all that shit, all your creativity, everything that's so valuable about yourself and your inside that you don't even fucking know and you don't even fucking recognize and you probably ain't even got it tapped in yet but motherfucker he gets all of that so you got to be careful and know thyself so you can know who you giving your power away to for real you don't want to be like Solomon. this motherfucker y'all let me tell you let me tell you y'all this motherfucker he got so fucking greedy because he wanted more wives he already got a wife. But let me tell you how he's so smart. He done. Now, God gave you everything. You ain't got no problems out of God. You're fucking. You're doing your shit. You're living your fucking life. Damn. What more the fuck do you want? You got power over the devil and every fucking thing. What more the fuck do you want? What more you want? So, his ass motherfucker wants to be greedy. And now, now his ass want to sit up there and say, he met this little fan little bitch. Now, I don't even know where the fuck she came from. I forgot who the fuck this little bitch was. But he met a bitch. He met this little fine little bitch, right? And what she do? Now, he asked her master or her daddy, whoever fuck her people, who over her. He asked, can he have her? I think it was her fucking daddy. But you know how they used to be back in the day. Can I have her? You feel me? So we don't know if it was this man's wife or who, or the daughter. We don't fucking know. But he did find a, he found a fine ass bitch, y'all. This bitch, he say, can I have her? This motherfucker gonna say, yeah, you can sleep with her, but only if you worship our God, our, our God. Hold on right there, motherfucker. That should have been a red flag. You, but see, this is what I'm saying. You see how we ignore red flags? We know it's a fucking red flag. We know we ain't supposed to be with these niggas. We know we ain't supposed to be out here doing what the fuck we doing. But you, you can't get mad when the consequences hit your motherfucking ass. So, bitch, this bitch gonna say, then the daddy, the master, whoever the fuck the nigga was, he said, don't sleep with him unless he worship our God first. Walked off on the ass like a player. Now Solomon, he's so fucking horny. And guess what? That bitch show just dancing all in his face, ain't she? With her Jezebel ass. All in his fucking face. Yep. Because that's what Satan do. They sit up there and use their fucking spirit, they toxic ass motherfucking pussy, and they fucking money to cast spells on your motherfucking ass, bitch. So this what the fuck this bitch did. So you know what Solomon horny ass did? His ass slept with him. Mm -mm -mm. And you know what happened? First of all, when a bitch sit up there and tell you to sit up there and worship her God first, because she worship her God first, when a bitch tell you that shit, 
never do that shit. You are never supposed to worship nobody else's God. Bitch, what? Who the fuck? First of all, who is your God? Who the fuck do you be out here worshiping? First of all, who do you be worshiping? So that's a red flag right there. First of all, if a bitch, if y'all, y'all supposed to be on the same page. Y'all to be on the same page, worshiping the same God. Doing your same shit, doing your shit. But if a bitch already in the door, nah, we can't fuck unless you worship my God. So that should have been a red flag. But you know what? He did exactly what the fuck she said. See what I'm saying? How a bitch like fucking Eve, she submissive, she did. That's what I'm saying. Bitches got power. Because they know how to seduce a fucking man and make him do what the fuck she say and all that shit. See, you can either use your powers for good and talk life into a man and give a man life. Or you can use your powers for negative and evil to get what the fuck you want and to benefit you. Bitch, bitch, God will get you for that. God will get you for that. For trying to manipulate some motherfucking body. God will get you for that. But if these motherfuckers is never part of God and they ain't worship God, damn it, they cool with being getting they cool with manipulating God's people. So what happened is they wanted to manipulate Solomon. You feel me? He was running shit. He had the demons on lock. You feel me? Motherfuckers couldn't do shit. You gotta go to work, bitch. That's what I'm saying. I don't see how the fuck y'all lazy now. You so fucking lazy, motherfucker, you gotta go to work whether you're a demon or whether you're an angel. You gotta carry your ass to work. And you wanna go to work when you're an angel, cause that means you could do, you got a little leeway. You could do a lot of shit. You feel me? But when you're a demon, you gotta do what the fuck you could order to do. And sometimes your motherfuckers is slow. Fuck. His motherfucking ass getting tricked by the motherfucking devil because his ass wants some fucking pussy. He got all the pussy out here, but he wants some more pussy. He wants her pussy. Like it was just so fucking great. So now, this bitch, you reap what the fuck you sow. So now your motherfuckers out here sleeping with the devil, you gonna reap what you sow too. Motherfucker, stop acting like God won't get you. He gonna let you live and do what you want. You got free will, bitch. But you're gonna reap what you sow. So guess what? Motherfucking Solomon, he lost dominion. And God took his power back. And his dumb ass looks slow. Now you're slow. And now guess what? The seven sisters, the seven sisters that represents them dark forces and shit. Remember I told you jealousy, error, and all them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They killed his ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had no fucking choice. They been with the devil, been wanting to kill you. They can't wait to kill you. But you got to step outside your motherfucking character. And his ass got his ass whack because his ass wanted some motherfucking pussy. God damn it. Damn. You da damn. You got you fucking hella fucking people on this motherfucker. Damn. You want to fuck this bitch too? What type of pussy this bitch got? And she wants you to worship her fucking God? I wouldn't even trust a bitch that tell you to worship her God. What the fuck is going on? And your dumb ass did that shit? You deserve to get your ass got. You slow. That's why I tell your motherfuckers now. Stay your ass in the motherfucking house. Because it's a lot of demons. And they ass is on demon time. And if your motherfuckers is not guarded. You motherfuckers going to be easy to fall in a fucking trap. And then you're getting mad at people. Because motherfuckers we elevating. We moving on with the universe. Motherfuckers is looking good. Feeling good bitch. God damn it. Like I tell you all the time. Your bitches say I'm bitter. But bitch do it look like I'm bitter. I ain't got no bumps in my face bitch. I ain't bitter at all ho. You need to worry about what the fuck is going on with you bitch. Your motherfuckers stand toxic. I been told you. I told you. Detach yourself from motherfuckers. God damn it. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be your fucking mama. Detach your damn self. Work on you. Because god damn it, the ship's been here. And god damn it, when they call your fucking number, god damn it, you know how you be sitting down waiting on your number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they call your motherfucking number, you want to be ready, motherfucker. You don't want motherfuckers waiting on you like an Uber driver. And god damn it, he impatient. And motherfucker, god damn it, he give your ass five minutes or he going to leave. Motherfucker, you don't want to be that motherfucker that got left. You god damn it better get on a bandwagon. But see what's going on. 
going on is you motherfuckers ain't getting on the bandwagon and you're discouraging people for getting on the bandwagon and you're mad because you fucked up in the same spot. Well, don't get, don't rub your fucking negative ass energy on nobody else, motherfucker. Just because you like to stay the, stay the same and you don't like to fucking change and you don't like, this your life. You answer for that. You gonna answer for your life for why the fuck you didn't explore your life and you didn't do your goals. Don't say because you had a job. Or don't say because you had kids. Don't say because you had a motherfucking, you was engaged to somebody. No, motherfucker, this is your life. When you die, you die by yourself. So it don't matter who walk away from you. God damn it, you better stand ten toes down by yourself. Do you believe in your own self? Do you know the power you got? Do you know the power that's in your blood? Don't fucking discourage the next motherfucker. I hope you know that karma already hits. So if you motherfuckers never manifested no new beginnings, you all you toxic motherfuckers is for to reap what you sow. Karma hitting that. Y'all for to have a long motherfucking summer. Because all you been doing was partying and kicking it. And god damn it, you been doing more partying and kicking it. More than getting your own life together. Dealing with your own demons. Damn, you still fucking the same man. Damn, he still putting you through the same bullshit. Damn, we don't want to hear that shit no more. It's a new world order, bitch. If you still talking about the same toxic ass shit, we don't want to hear that shit no more. Damn it, go, go repent to fucking God. And guess what? Your karma is for to build up. So, bitch. Bitch, if you supposed to been left that nigga, guess what? And you acting like it's so hard to leave that nigga now? Motherfucker, you gonna reap what you sow, bitch. Because now, guess what? Bitch, karma here. Karma here. And you don't want God to come through. You know how, goddamn it, like I say, you don't want God to whoop your ass. Because when he come, goddamn it, you want to have your life together before he come. Because he gonna make you get your shit together. And guess what? It's going to be in front of everybody. It's a humiliation ritual. You know how, God damn it, the damn the Illuminati do their humiliation ritual? Well, God damn it, we, get, God do, do, do one too. And he'll humiliate your motherfucking ass in front of all these motherfuckers. You want to play with me? You want to act a fucking fool in front of everybody? You want to act like you declining my fucking phone call when I call your bitch ass? I'm going to humiliate your motherfucking ass in front of everybody. That's what I'm saying. So your motherfuckers is walking around ignoring God's phone call. He going to humiliate your motherfucking ass in front of everybody. So all you motherfuckers, don't get mad because a motherfucker left your ass behind. Damn, we moved on, bitch. Y'all better fucking move on too. You're gonna reap what you sow. And then you get mad and you'll get mad at the next motherfucker. Well, guess what? You're still dealing with that same cheating ass nigga. Guess what? He gonna be a cheating ass nigga tomorrow. Ain't shit for the change. Y'all for to be the same. Yeah, and guess what? So you thinking about all that toxic ass shit that that whole time that you was thinking you could have been manifesting your new beginnings, but you can't manifest your new beginnings because you too busy worried about that nigga cheating on your motherfucking ass. See what I'm saying? It's time out for all that shit. It's too much shit going on, bitch. At the end of the day, you got to focus on you. If you focus on you, you won't worry about shit else around you. Because God will line that shit up right perfectly for you. But if you're too busy and you get thrown off track and you fall for the devil's trap, guess what? Jealousy is right there waiting for your ass. Error is right there waiting for your ass. Strife is right there waiting for your ass. Battle is right there waiting for your motherfucking ass. God damn it, all the seven sisters and the seven one is the worst one. God damn it, deception, all the seven sisters is right there ready to take your ass down like they took Solomon ass down. So you keep playing with God power that he gave your ass. He blessed you with meddling. He blessed you to come down here to be smart and do the right thing, not be evil. He came down here to get, get damn it, to understand to come into understanding if your motherfuckers ain't doing right guess what you gonna reap what you sow bitch and guess what don't get mad at your family members cause you going to hell we don't want to go to hell with you we don't want to develop karma with you guess what it's coming to a separation now so now the devil is separating himself now is you gonna be able to tell the real and the fake you're going to be able to tell who's doing right and who's doing wrong. 
You're going to be able to tell the truth and the lie. It's separating itself. The, the sun is separating us. And Kylie voice. The sun is separating us. Motherfucker. So guess what? You motherfuckers going to reap what you sow. Do the right thing. Get out of toxic behavior so you can be saved. Or your ass going to reincarnate your ass back here. You're going to get left behind. And these devils is out here to fucking kill you on demon time. And you're not ready for them because you can't fucking see them. Your bitch is out here thinking the devil is coming. God damn it. it no, he coming how you like it. He coming just like how you fucking like it. Like the seven sisters. Damn it, all seven of them might fuck the shit at you. That's what I'm saying. They going to come just like you like it. And these motherfuckers is created, god damn it, just so you can fall for so so you can fall for the trap. It's like a maze when you're down here. You're not supposed to fall for the fucking okie doke. But you motherfuckers then turned into a whole bunch of okie doke popcorn and you got me eating that shit. Cause you motherfuckers and then turned into a whole bunch of okie doke ass niggas. Cause you falling for the whole okie doke. Wake your ass up, bitch. Damn, you can't sleep all fucking day. Damn, the alarm clock been going off. How old you is? You're 30 years old. Wake your bitch ass up. Bitch, you been asleep for 30 fucking years. It's time for your ass to get up. I know. I know you don't want to go to work in the morning. I know you're tired. I know you're tired of living. But bitch, you're still here. So that means you got another chance. That means you fucking selfish as fuck. If you're out here being ungrateful with the fucking life God fucking bless you with, you motherfucker. Because it's a baby that's six feet under that wish they could see they fucking mama. But you motherfucking bitches out here fucking complaining over every fucking thing, motherfucker. And you just still here. You got everything. What the fuck is you complaining about? You dumb bitch. It's a fucking new way. It's a new motherfucking day. And your bitches, motherfucker, better get your motherfucking ship together. Your shit together because the motherfucking ships is already here. And we loaded on that bitch. They called my number. I'm going. Motherfucker, I made up my mind. Bitch, fuck you. Leaving all your motherfuckers behind. And your motherfuckers going to look slow. You can talk about me all you fucking want to. Bitch, you look slow. I, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with me. Say what the fuck you want to say about me, bitch. I ain't got to I ain't got to prove myself to you, bitch. I'm I'm cool with me. I'm just on this motherfucker having a nice conversation, telling motherfuckers to subscribe to Queen Marie Show and, pro and go listen to my motherfucking music, bitch. I'm expressing my motherfucking talent. Like God want me to, bitch. Is you mad? Well, I'm only doing it because God say so. Damn, God be having me do a whole lot of shit that I don't want to do. But he making me break out my shell. So damn, do shit that you got to do so you can break out your shell. So you can express your gifts that you got to offer to the world, bitch. Damn. But I know you bitches ain't going to manipulate me. I'm not going to hell for you, bitch. You can go to hell by your damn self. I'm not going to lose my power that God blessed me with on earth to fuck around with you fucking demons or get manipulated by the fucking devil. I don't fuck with devils. I don't deal with them. I told you motherfuckers I'm the security guard of the fucking heaven gates. Bitch, ask about me. Go to God and ask about me. He going to tell you, yeah, I'm a good shepherd. I'm the, I'm the motherfucking security guard and no devil shit don't even cross up in that bitch. You can't even fucking come down the block. We be having heaven lit. You can't come up there. You know how goddamn you got the Fifi's on the block. I'm sorry y'all, but I'm from Chicago and we got Fifi's on the block and we be getting it in out west because that's where I'm from. I'm a 290 baby, you feel me? Like Lou Fo. I don't know Lou Fo, but I felt his ass when he said he a 290 baby because I'm a 290 baby and I'm from the west side of Chicago bitch and we had Fifi's on the motherfucking block. Bitch, well we all outside getting it in. Well, that's how heaven is. Motherfucker, we got Fifi's on the block in heaven. Motherfuckers be lit. You think you be kicking it down here? Imagine being kicking it around good energy, good environment, good motherfuckers. Damn it, you ain't even got to get high. Like, you be so high off life. 
Everybody kicking it. Laughing. That's what I'm saying. Your motherfuckers out here still crying for your loved ones. You look slow. Because if you know like I know, and if you're at the tapped in, you will know that you see them all the time. I see a whole lot of motherfuckers that I don't know, and they know me. They be calling my damn name. I be like, is you my cousin or something? But I be forgetting. Damn, it probably one of y'all loved ones that I be seeing up there. And everybody cool. They be, you know what I be seeing them doing? They be looking down at us, laughing at us. Like them motherfuckers, I don't know why she calling my damn name. I ain't going back down there. That's why sometimes when you call your loved ones and you be like, oh, damn, um, I been crying and I want them to come see me. They be telling y'all. They be in the sky looking at y'all. Bitch, I'm not going down there. I'm not going to go down there because sometimes they could get lost coming back down here. And they can't find their way back up there. Because they, it ain't that strong. They, they energy not that strong. So sometimes y'all will take all their energy away to come all the way back down here to comfort your ass. Stop fucking crying so you can stop calling their spirits and shit back down here. So they can build their energy and keep their energy for their fucking self. It's bad enough they gone. If they fucking accept it, why the fuck you can't? They the ones gone. You fucking selfish. Girl, that's what I'm saying. Your bitches act like you, you, like you, like the world evolves around you. You're not the only motherfuckers going through something. So treat people good while they here. So goddamn it, when they go, you won't feel so fucking guilty, bitch. Damn. It's not hard to treat people good while they here. It's not hard to do the right thing. But your motherfuckers don't want to. And your motherfuckers like to stay toxic. So guess what? You better watch out for them goddamn seven sisters. Goddamn it, that killed Solomon. Goddamn it, you better watch out for them. Because they ready to knock your ass out. Slay they ass, motherfucker. They ready to be slayed. They say they came, they the ones came to me and told me these motherfuckers better watch out because I'm ready to slay these motherfuckers. Y'all lucky they came and said it. These motherfuckers don't even have no warning. But I told you, when you're walking with the power of God, these demons gotta tell you what the fuck is going on. They gotta tell you they mission. That's what I'm saying. Don't shit get past God. Bitch, these motherfuckers will work for you. So you know what? I said, oh, y'all motherfuckers better watch out for the seven sisters. They on y'all ass. They ready to attack. And see, every sister got a motherfucking, de- motherfucking angel that frustrates them. So you find out, goddammit, what angel that frustrates them so you can call these motherfuckers out by their name. You gotta call the demons out. Bitch. You can't be scared of them. They ain't that smart and they ain't that strong. They try to deceive you. You got to understand, these the motherfuckers that work for their daddy. They only try to deceive you. How is you that smart or how is you strong? Damn it, you can't. That's like a motherfucker backdooring you, killing you, shooting you in the back of your head. Nigga, you can't shoot me in the front of my head so you could tell me it's you. Nigga, you got to snake me. You got to snake me. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers out here snaking motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. The demons can't kill you. They got to deceive you and snake you. So you watch out. Watch out, because they always fucking lurking. You know we be having them fucking demons lurking, y'all. Shit. Every little step we motherfucking take, these motherfucking demons always fucking lurking. Every little move you motherfucking make, they always fucking lurking. So you always stay guarded and you always stay protected. And always walk with God. So that way you ain't got no choice but to do the fucking right thing. God, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm allowed you to guide me. I don't know what I'm doing. God, respect that instead of you pretending like you know what you're doing. No, go tell him the fucking truth. I don't know what I'm doing, God. I don't know who to call on. I don't even know what's real or what's fake. So can you start revealing shit to me so I can know and to my own understanding? Because right now, this world is becoming fucked up. And everybody falling for the okie doke. Don't fall for the okie doke. 
or your ass gonna be eating cheesy, okie doke popcorns. Shitting all over the fucking place. Why the fuck would you wanna shit every fucking well? You need to be doing something positive instead of falling for the okie doke, bitch. Bitch. Y'all motherfuckers is getting on my fucking nerves because I always got to come laugh and I always got to say some shit that I don't want to fucking say. I shouldn't have to tell you every day to watch out for these fucking devils. Damn it, because there shouldn't be no devils going on. Your demons shouldn't even be want to be on demon time all day. But God damn it, we got to start warning you about the fucking devils, y'all. You got to know who you're fighting. It ain't nobody in the flush. So stop acting like it's your sister and your brother. It's these spirits you're fighting. Damn. No matter how much you stop talking to your sister, your brother, your cousin, guess what? That same devil spirit could go into anybody. You got to be able to know who that devil is. Not the fucking physical body, but that spirit. You got to be able to recognize it. Or don't you gonna fall for the okie doke like Solomon? You watch out for that shit. Cause these motherfuckers is on demon time and we is on God's time. And you motherfuckers ain't gonna manipulate me off my motherfucking throne. I'm calling your bitches out now. You watch out for these motherfuckers, seven sisters. Cause these bitches on y'all ass. And your bitches is out here slow. So subscribe to, subscribe to the Queen Marie Show, y'all. Holla!